It's almost the end of 2014, but we still have more of the top 10 new TV of 2014 to go. Today we've got the top five, with of course my number one new show of 2014 to cut it all off, which is a long way of saying you might want to put some time aside on New Year's Eve for some binge viewing. So let's get started. At number five, well, we have a tie with The CW's Jane the Virgin and Showtime's The Affair. Now, I'm not an indecisive guy by nature, but with a plethora of riches like this, you have to split the honors. As I said back in October about the witty accidental insemination series. And if I were you, either block off the time or set the DVR, because this is something you're gonna wanna see now, so you're in the know when everyone else starts talking about the Ben Silverman executive produced series. We should stop. <sighs> Even when I'm this frustrated, I really love you, baby. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, me too. Long story short, believe the hype. Jane the Virgin shines. I was a little on the fence about the affair when I first reviewed it, but the Dominic West and Ruth Wilson starring infidelity drama has proven a true process of discovery. And that's a very great and very desirable hook indeed. Good evening, monsters. <laughs> fourth place, we have an offering from another premium cabler. In this case, HBO, and last week tonight with John Oliver. Now, we all knew the Brit could deliver a good current events line or two, and his time behind the Daily Show desk subbing for Jon Stewart showed that he could keep the ball bouncing. However, to paraphrase Lord Byron, who knew our Oliver could walk in such poignant satirical beauty on Sunday nights? He made the nearly old news seem fresher than ever. Student debt in the US is now bigger than debt from credit cards and auto loans and is second only to mortgages. Essentially, student debt is like HPV. If you go to college, you're almost certainly going to get it. The Missing from Stars is in the third spot. This now Golden Globe nominated limited series, which will be back for a second season with different players, about a couple whose child goes missing in 2007, well, I stand by what I said in November. This is an amazing piece of television, one that I'm still haunted and intrigued by in no small part to the raw and gut-wrenching performances by James Nesbitt of The Hobbit Trilogy and Frances O'Connor as a couple destroyed over and over by their law. Julius, you sure you want to do this? Not exactly. Everybody wants confession, and everybody's guilty. It reached out seemingly so effortlessly from the bayou and grabbed us all so tightly, we just might forget that just how stunning True Detective was upon its debut and all of its first season on HBO. Debuting on January 12th this year, yes, the Nick Pazzolatu created Southern Gothic crime drama had Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson as two Louisiana cops on the trail of true evil. And that was all right, all right. But the full package came from those captivating words and a look from director Kerry Fukunaga that gave appointment viewing a new name. It's number two, but True Detective is still a hot damn show indeed. And now, lastly, our number one new show of 2014. Amazon's Transparent, a game changer for the streaming service. This comedy drama from Jill Soloway of a parent finding him and herself and the fallout for the family was truly remarkable, smart and soulful television. I mean, I've seen it all several times and I plan to binge the acclaimed Jeffrey Tamburn led Transparent again over the holidays. How often do you say that about anything nowadays? Why? Well, it's like I said when the first season went up on Amazon on September 26th. Transparent feels to me both groundbreaking and so familiar, as great TV always does. Not because of its subject matter, but its deft storytelling and seamlessly effortlessly crafted performances. Oh! Stop it! God, I don't have cancer. Do you kids want me to have cancer? That's our list, from Gotham at number 10 to Transparent at number one. A solid year of great new TV. And as a hint looking forward toward 2015, I'm gonna say five words, folks. Babylon, Sundance TV, Empire, Fox. And with that, see you all on the small screen next year. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.